Hi, this is Craig Severance from the Zero Energy Channel. Come join us as we work to address the challenge of moving toward a world with zero energy from fossil fuels. We're here at Alpen Windows in Niwot, Colorado. These people make super efficient windows and I'm picking some up today from Leah Primrose who is going to show us that it's all about comfort. It is all about comfort. And uh, High performance. <laughs> she's going to have me use some of their displays here and she's going to be the camera person and while I go through some of their displays. All right. Okay. <laughs> so what's this display over here? So we start off at the very far. That's going to be what most window manufacturers are producing today. Okay, well the I can lower... feel that heat coming right through these, yep. these windows. Yep. And it's uh, like baking me here. <laughs> yep. It's like, that uh, would be like my house is just leaking heat. So, it, um, and, it, and or in the winter, or in the summertime, the summer it's, it's coming right in through. and your air this conditioner's is, having to work double time. Here, <laughs> this, this is kind of uncomfortable. Yep. And uh, then what do we have here? This is where we yeah, start. Yeah, have to move the as far as our, you're good. Oh, we're good. You're, you're oh, good. All right. All right. <laughs> As far as we start for performance, um, this is our 525 series. It's an R5 window. R5. R5. These are usually normal double pane is about R2 two, and a half to three, three. right? Yep. So this is already twice as good. Right where we start, yep. Okay. It's already better than everybody else. But I'm not really <laughs> feeling that very much. Nope. And, uh, so that's, that's already cut the, the heat loss in half. Yep. And, and so what do we have down here? And then even further is our 925. And this oh. is Craig's putting in his place. Yes, these are the how, how are we achieving this? We are achieving it with multiple layers of suspended films and an inert gas called Krypton. Okay, so how many layers are we talking here? So you have a layer of glass, two layers of film, and another layer of glass. So it's quadruple paint. Quadruple. Oh wow! And these are triple. Triple. All right. Yep. So that that is awesome and. And so now this is where I <laughs> this really This is relate. the best part. I'm from, I'm from <laughs> Iowa and originally, and now we are putting a, a tiny house together uh, to be on uh, a, a very high elevation on a mountain. So it's going to be super cold. And I know that when I stand, that's why I say, to me, it's all about comfort. Yeah, do I want to stand in my house or sit in my house next to a cold window? And, and you see here you have a freezer. This is what your typical manufacturer. Yep, that's is a typical. Doing. Yep, typical and, manufacturer. And, dual and, glaze. Ooh, I, I don't not touching <laughs> glass, and I'm feeling cold. Look down in there and see what the see what the. Um, ooh, it's like um, four degrees, three degrees. So about eight degrees in there. Is it? Yeah, so it's cold outside. Yep. We're simulating it's cold outside. And I don't even have to touch that window, and I'm feeling the cold. Yes. Because it's sucking the heat off my body. <laughs> yep. And, and so it's, I'm radiating the, the heat away. And that's by to experience with windows. Everybody who's lived in cold climates you know you can't stand next to it, be anywhere near nope. a window, and you just feel cold. It doesn't matter what the air temperature is. Yeah, you would have to build a smaller, a smaller window hole so yeah. that you're not losing all that heat, mm -hmm. and then you can't take advantage of all the beautiful views. Right. So here we have your 925, the quad plane, which I'm picking up, <laughs> and uh, oh, I, I'm not feeling that. Right. And and to me, that's the whole thing is that that it's all about. People say, well, what's the economics of this, and does it pay for itself? And you know, to me, it's all about comfort. I mean, why do you heat your house in the first place? You want to be comfortable, and if you if you even when you're heating your house to whatever air temperature and you're still not comfortable because a cold window is sucking the heat off your body, uh, it's, yeah, it's worth it. Yep. it <laughs> all of your efforts to do everything else is going to be futile. Just, just, uh, yeah. boy, you yeah. know, uh, and if you've got a cold window next to you and a tiny house, <laughs> you, everything's really cold to you. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want that to happen. So we're getting some pretty darn, darn good windows yep. from you. you. You're saying that these panes are there's the inner and outer glass, but the the I didn't even you can't even see the inside ones. Nope. These are the signs over the fr the freezers with the quad pane. Uh, the winter glass temperature on the other side from the freezer is almost 65 degrees. Not really cold at all. Our value of 12 and a half. 
and this is your typical double pane window or value at a little over two and that glass is cold about 43 and we said it was about eight degrees inside so same temperature for each freezer very different results for the uh, temperature of the glass that's going to try to suck heat from your body they're just a very clear now what's the sort of longevity for that is it going to last as long as the regular multiple pane window would yeah yeah it's going to actually um, most manufacturers that do multiple pane uh, windows can't go to places like where you're going to have your yeah. tiny home yeah especially if they're manufactured here in denver yeah because it changes in elevation but they um sorry excuse me oh, sorry <laughs> work in place work in progress yes um go ahead See? Yeah, okay. okay. She's going to show us this, these people working in just yeah. a few minutes. So we're going to see these people in a, uh, at hard at work here. Yep. There's another little section behind here where they actually gas and patch all of the insulated glass units. Okay. I'm going to stay close to you. Yep. Those are regulators. And that way in the back? Yeah, with the lights on them? Looks like uh, about the size of a microwave, but with lights on it. You got it. And there are two uh, tubes or, or hoses, I, set, I guess. Uh huh. Um, that's where the gas is regulated. It comes out of obviously big gas tanks, but uh -huh. it comes through those tubes. Those tubes get plugged into here. Uh huh. And that's how we fill them. So two go on the top and two go on the bottom. Those tubes there, I see. Yep. Here. Yep. And so you're getting all that gas in there. And you're, have you done testing after several years to see if the stuff is still in there? Yeah, we've actually, um, IGCC, I want to say it was 50 years, but you can't quote me on that. They simulated for 50 years the gas would still be in there. In order for us to say that it's a certain percent full, which is, um, we, we, can, we, call, we can say 100% full, but it's only actually like 98. I think industry is 92%. Uh -huh. You have to have at least 92% gas there to, to call it completely full. Does that pay, help keep the moisture from building up in there? Actually, or? The, the gas really doesn't do anything to the moisture at all. Okay, it's, um, it's, uh, it's just a higher insulating material? Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay. It, it, it just helps insulate everything. Okay. There's actually a desiccant inside the spacer, the box spacer system. Yeah. That's what keeps the moisture out of the unit. Okay. All right. So let me ask you the question here. Everybody says this stuff isn't going to last anyway. So why do you, why bother? Uh, what what makes you think that your materials are going to last a good lifetime? Well, there's two reasons why the gas actually dissipates out of most insulated glass units. Number one is the feel around the insulated glass unit. Yeah. If it's not thick or it's a permeable material, it will dissipate. Uh huh. Not ours. So the mix. We use these bladder systems here. Aha! Uh -huh. So that that doesn't leak out on the way home. Doesn't leak out. Uh okay, so what do we have here, Leia? The this like looks like lots of frames. Where are you going to put in all these frames? Artwork? Yeah, all of our glass. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the bones. The bones yes. are our windows. But you can see here, everything's handmade. Uh, we cut out all of our materials, we paint all of our mater materials, we assemble all of our materials, um, everything uh, done right here. So this is a Made in America product? It is Made in oh, America. Oh, awesome. <laughs> you, you mean there's people here in America that have jobs because of this. That's right. So it looks like this, this place looks real small on the outside, but there's a lot going on in here. Could you folks... Uh, put a, a lot of windows out through your factory every year. Yep, yep. You know, we do probably, we make about 50 windows a day, which isn't a lot. I mean, there's, yeah. but for us, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. You folks have, could make more, some windows for people out there in the YouTube land and yep. who want to have, be comfortable <laughs> yes. summer and winter, because it's <laughs> all about comfort. Yep. So let's go get our windows. All right. We have one more demonstration of what a Prius can do that you'd never thought it could do. So uh, I, you wouldn't believe what I put in here and I <coughs> kind of knew that this would work. Well is it going to work? And we got one more but it's pretty small. Can we do it? 
Uh, yes, a Prius can hold four windows. Actually, these are double, a lot of these are double and triple windows. So how many total actual windows do we have? I think we have quite a few here. Yeah, two, so, five, six, seven, seven total. Okay, uh, a Prius can hold seven windows. All right, the discomforting thing, of course, which people want to know, <laughs> is uh, in order to get this amazing level of comfort, how much did I pay for these seven windows total? For seven windows, you paid $3,711. Now, I can make an economic argument all day long that's going to pay for itself, but frankly, I don't care. I want to become more comfortable, that's so right. I'm paying it. There you go. And so there we go. I'm going to write you a check, and I'm going to be happy with these. <laughs> what kind of warranty do we get? lifetime warranty oh that's awesome yeah. great yeah. so alpen windows in niwak colorado can get you the super efficient windows and you can be comfortable <laughs> hello my name is eric if you like this video give us a thumbs up down below also if you want to subscribe that's good too join us on the zero energy channel